medical dialogues your daily dose of health and medical news i'm mr zaman and today i'm going to talk about successful trial of artificial pancreas for use by type 2 diabetes patients cambridge scientists have successfully trialed an artificial pancreas for use by patients living with type 2 diabetes the device powered by an algorithm developed at the university of cambridge doubled the amount of time patients were in the target range for glucose compared to standard treatment and half the time spent experiencing high glucose levels researchers have developed an artificial pancreas that can help maintain healthy glucose levels the device combines an off the shelf glucose monitor and insulin pump with an app developed by the team known as cam aps hx this app is run by an algorithm that predicts how much insulin is required to maintain glucose levels in the target range Recently Nature Medicine the team report the first trial of the device in a wider population living with type 2 diabetes not requiring kidney dialysis unlike the artificial pancreas used for type 1 diabetes this new version is a fully closed loop system whereas pancreas with type 1 diabetes need to tell their artificial pancreas that they are about to eat to allow adjustment of insulin for example with this version they can leave the device to function entirely automatically The researchers recruited 26 patients from the Wolfson Diabetes and Endocrine Clinic at Aden Brooks Hospital and a local group of GP surgeries. Patients were randomly allocated to one of the two groups. The first group would trial the artificial pancreas for 8 weeks and then switch to the standard therapy of multiple daily insulin injections. The second group would take this control therapy first and then switch to the artificial pancreas after 8 weeks. Average glucose levels fell from 12.6 millimoles per liter when taking the control therapy to 9.2 millimoles per liter while using the artificial pancreas. The app also reduced levels of a molecule known as glycated hemoglobin or HbA1c by measuring HbA1c clinicians are able to get an overall picture of what a person's average blood sugar levels have been over a period of weeks or months for people with diabetes the higher the HbA1c the greater the risk of developing diabetes related complications after the control therapy average HbA1c levels were 8.7% while after using the artificial pancreas they were 7.3% That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.